you know, there are these strange, mysterious labs that I know about. There's these, and you, you mentioned that's where its original mandate kind of came uh, yeah, from. Yeah, you must have been watching Stranger Things. <laughs> I've heard that it's uh, it's plays quite a role there. Yes. And my mind actually went to Independence Day with Will Smith, uh -huh. Area okay. 51, and probing uh -huh. of aliens. Uh -huh. Do you what's goes on in these places? Is there are there you know doors to different dimensions? What's going on? So these 17 national laboratories that belong to the Department of Energy are jewels in the American crown of science and technology innovation. And there are three nuclear weapons labs that were at the core of the Department of Energy, Los Alamos, Livermore, and Sandia National Labs. Now there are these 17, a, an ecosystem of mm. laboratories that focus on innovation in science and energy, ensure that our nuclear stockpile is right. safe, secure, and effective, do cool things in cybersecurity, advance our clean energy agenda, mm develop fundamental science in, in ways that you and I can't mm. probably understand. Definitely when you ask about me. opening doors to those new dimensions, yeah. I've been underground in a place where they're shooting neutrinos through you and through space to <laughs> other states. And so these things are done on behalf of the nation to keep the United States in the forefront. Yeah. They're something that we depend heavily yeah. on, and they require continuing investment to ensure that coming generations can continue to reap the fruits of that kind of innovation yeah. for the benefit of the the American economy and our national security. I feel like so many people know about DARPA uh, at the Defense yes. Department. A lot of the research that goes there into high-tech armor and all that sort of stuff. But what you're saying is actually a lot of yeah. the high-tech uh, research and innovation is happening at these several national laboratories. So you need to think about innovation along what uh, Secretary Moniz, the Secretary of Energy who I served, is it called, describes as an innovation chain. And the fundamental and applied science is done uh, at our national labs. We then also have a DARPA-like entity at the Department of Energy. Mm -hmm. So it's called the Advanced Research Projects Agency Energy, ARPA-E. Uh, the focus of ARPA-E is on bringing forward the innovation that's happening in the national laboratories to the benefit of the American American people and the world as quickly as possible. So it takes cutting edge technologies that have not yet been proven out on a wide scale and gives them a chance to be tested. And there's funding that's provided to startups mm -hmm. partnering with some of our labs to generate that capacity so that in some of these areas where mm -hmm. we need to move quickly, yeah. such as the development and deployment of clean energy solutions yeah. to meet our climate goals, that we can get there in time. Well